State police say a woman they shot this morning at an Albuquerque apartment complex has finally surfaced at a hospital in Grants. We're learning more about what led up to that shooting and the wild day that unfolded after officers fired. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is live where all of this started near I-25 in San Mateo. Crystal. Yeah, Dean, in the parking lot just right behind me, it's where officers opened fire on the suspect, Roxanne Torres. Now, state police had said they knew that bullets hit the car that Torres was in, but they've now confirmed that Torres was shot. Now, one witness believes that officers did not have to fire their weapons. They could hear the rounds going off, and that's what startled them. You know, they seen what happened. This woman does not want to show her face. Her son was one of several people inside an apartment on Harper Drive where police were trying to arrest 27-year-old Kayenta Jackson on fraud and forgery charges. But that's when they came across 28-year-old Roxanne Torres in a car in the parking lot. The source tells us she sped towards officers, drove through landscaping, flying over the sidewalk to get away. Two state police officers started shooting. Police will not say how many times the officers fired, but this is what the woman's son said. They shot at they shot at the car at least 30 times. Police say Torres crashed the car about a mile away at Jefferson north of Allison. She then hopped in a white Kia SUV that someone had left running. She took off and the search for her started. Word of that search spread back to this apartment complex. She could be shot six times and afraid to turn herself in and could die because of this. Torres and that stolen SUV eventually did turn up at a hospital in Grants. She was there for treatment for her gunshot wound. And after trying to escape Albuquerque this afternoon, she's back here. Torres was airlifted back to UNM Hospital. Police wouldn't say if she had a weapon, but witnesses say she didn't. No, she was just trying to get away. She probably had a warrant. Who knows? Now, the woman you just heard from, her son was one of six people that were detained and questioned by officers. None were arrested and they were all let go. Back to you. Crystal, thank you. State police have not released the names of the officers who fired. They are still waiting on a warrant to search that stolen SUV. Taurus has a rap sheet that includes car theft and drug dealing.